Hi, my name is Brandon Henley, and I'm the Director of Music at St. Francis. I've been at St. Francis now almost seven years, and I've been in several different roles since I've been there. I started out as the Instrumental Director of our Assisi Youth Music Ministry Program. Then I transitioned into the Piano Accompanist for the Sunday Masses and Holy Day liturgies and services. And then just in January of 2019, I was blessed and lucky enough to become the Director of Music here at St. Francis. My role here includes overseeing the rehearsal and planning for our three musical ensembles, which are the Adult Choir, the Bell Choir, and our Assisi Youth Music Ministry Program, which I mentioned before, which is a group for middle and high school students that sing and play instruments. I'm also incredibly lucky to work with two other musical staff at St. Francis. Carrie Phelps is our Saturday accompanist, and Rebecca Vanover is the vocal director. So she works a lot with the adult choir and directs the vocalists for our Assisi Youth Ministry program as well. In addition to our wonderful staff, we also have so many wonderful volunteers in our music ministry that we definitely could not live without. In addition to my job as the director of music at St. Francis, I'm also a music teacher in the Howard County Public School System. One of the most rewarding things about this job for me is to see that music can truly be a life learning, lifelong learning endeavor for so many people. As a music teacher myself, I can only hope that many of my students continue in music in the same way that many of our volunteers do here at St. Francis. I know that not all of my students at school will major in music or maybe want to have a career in music, but I hope that they value it and love it enough that like our volunteers, they'll go to work for seven or eight or nine hours a day and have long commutes. And then after all of that, come to church at 7 p.m. on Thursday evenings for adult choir to rehearse for an hour and a half, sometimes close to two hours, or 7 p.m. on Tuesday evenings to come rehearse with our bell choir. So as a teacher, it's really rewarding for me to see that, that that is possible for my students. And it's also rewarding for me to work with those people that value music so much that they would do it in addition to what they do all day long. One of the challenges, especially in this time, is not being able to make that communal music together with the music ministry at St. Francis. I know that I'm missing it, and I know that our music ministry is definitely missing it as well. But another reward is the collaboration that I've been able to have with staff at St. Francis and staff at St. Louis. I think some of the collaborations that I and we have had as a staff have grown our relationship and have been so much more than what we, what we have necessarily done in the past. And I see it definitely continuing after all this is over and after we do go back to normal. So I think that's truly a blessing and a reward in this difficult time. I also wanted to talk to you today about the upcoming Easter Gospel and the fourth Sunday of Easter. I think that during this time, there's no more fitting gospel than the reading of Jesus telling the Pharisees that he is the gate, he is the way, and that through him he is, everyone can be saved or everyone will be saved through him. And that all those that came before him were thieves or bandits or bad people and that the sheep won't listen to them. I think we can definitely see that in this time all around us. There are so many things that distract us from what's really important. Maybe it's that social media article that you read that's really scary, or maybe it's something you heard on the news, 
Or maybe it's a friend down the street who has a different outlook than you on what's going on. But I think if we remember what's important to us, especially our faith, that we will get through this time together. So I hope that you continue to take it one day at a time, take it one crisis at a time, take it one task at a time, and really focus on what's important to you. And we will all, as a result, get through this together. It was a pleasure speaking with you today, and I look forward to meeting and seeing many of you when we can all go back to church together.